grace and peace in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth to the elect across the earth. We love y'all so much. This is a quick video, but very powerful. And I thank the Lord Jesus Christ to be with us now today. This is a project parable. Some of y'all was wondering how come I wasn't making them. We got a lot of a lot of different types of videos we're doing. We got some documentaries, Lord willing, but project parables are very important and we're going to get those back up and running again. Glory be to Christ. Jesus spoke in parables and it's a gift he's given us and we want to bless you with this parable. This one is tremendously important. A lot of you are struggling with wars against people in your life. Neighbors, co-workers, spouses, family members, uh, in-laws or old, old time friends or whatever the case be. And your issue is you've been fighting the wrong way. So I want to give you this quick parable to help you. It bless my wife and I, and I know it's going to bless you. And thank you, Holy Ghost, for giving us this parable. So here we have a tree. <laughs> you like, brother, words, I think I know it's a tree. <laughs> Great wise man knows what a tree is. But here we got a tree, right? Back in the medieval days, when there was castles, bricks, walls, when great walls surrounding the city, there would be a gate or a large doorway. When an invading force was trying to come in, they would close the gates and fortify it with more, uh, you know what I'm saying, whatever. And what they would do was they would use something called a battering ram. Now, usually they would cut a tree down, strip the branches, apply wheels, and about 10 men on each side would wham. They would back it up and wham. They would keep hitting the door of the city until it gave way. Now, there's a lot of people in your life that are trying to invade the city of your peace, the city of your joy, the city of your spiritual walk with the Lord they're trying to invade it and take that peace from you but your problem is <laughs> let me let me say it like this if you were one of the soldiers on the wall trying to defend the city and they were when they were they were hammering that battering ram into the, the the gates of the city and you looked around and all the soldiers were shooting arrows at the tree or the dead log None of them were shooting the arrows at the men pushing the log. Wouldn't you say, hey, what are y'all doing? You got to shoot the men, not the log. It's just a dead tree. Shoot the men pushing the... Shoot the men pushing the tree, right? Well, in life... <laughs> what does Ephesians six twelve say? For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and the rulers of the darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in high places. So in your war, where, so in your life, where invading forces, whether co-workers trying to mess up your, your life on a job or neighbors or whoever it is now, they're trying to invade the peace of your life, the joy of your life, but you are fighting the log and not the demons. Remember, this tree would be cut down, stripped, dead, and be used as a battering ram to open up a gate or a big door, right? So what demons do is they operate through dead trees. <laughs> dead trees in your life or people that are not saved or religiously lost and they're stripped down they're being used by the enemy and these demons are using humans like battering rams to invade the city of your peace to invade the city of your joy you, you follow so are you fighting the log are you fighting your neighbor or are you going in your prayer closet fighting the demons using your Wow. Are you fighting the demons using your neighbor? Are you fighting your co-worker or that that other person, that family member or your spouse or whoever it is? Or are you fighting the demons that are using those people like battering rams?
Ain't that an amazing parable? All glory to Christ. See, you've been fighting incorrectly. Aim at the men pushing the log. You don't shoot the log. That would be foolish. You're guaranteed to always lose. Your doors will always be broken in because how are you going to fight with your baby daddy? How are you going to fight with your baby mama? How are you going to fight with your neighbor? Fight with your coworker? Go back and forth with words. Get all in the flesh shooting at the log. What you should do, what you, what you will do, come on now, is praying fast. Go in your prayer closet and launch your darts. See, the enemy shoots fiery darts. You got to launch your darts at the demons using that person that's trying to invade the city of your life. Trying to break down that door of peace in your life. Take that joy away from you. Invade and wreak havoc in your city or life. What you need to... Come on. Thank you, Jesus. What you need to do is praying fast and strike at the devils using these people. Specifically, now you got to learn to strategically aim good. It's a sniper. You see, a sniper is straight and accurate. Some of y'all be spraying the Tech 9 hitting everything but the enemy. You got to use that sniper and snipe that demon right off of that co-worker, right off of your baby daddy, right off of your baby mama, right off of your spouse, right off of your neighbor, right off of your mother-in-law, whoever it is. I, I don't know who, I could be talking to someone that each one of y'all has a different person that's being used by the enemy in your life. Instead of getting in the flesh and fighting a log that's already dead anyways, fight the evil ones using that person or that log, that battering ram against you. Fight them. Because if you get them out of the way, the log drops. And it cannot no longer be used against you. Here's the great thing. After you fight the enemies off of that log or that battering ram or off of that person, that human being, now you can pray that that dead tree will Rise up and come back to life and be a tree for Christ bearing fruit, not a tree cut down, used as a battering, used as a battering ram. Ain't that good? I told you I love Project Parables. We're going to get these going more and more, Lord willing. So let's go ahead and pray. This is a quick video. I want you to say, Lord Jesus, forgive me, Lord, that I've been fighting the tree. I've been fighting the dead log. I've been fighting the battering ram instead of the demons using the battering ram. Thank you, Lord, for this message. Lord, I hope and I pray that you will use me in spiritual warfare through prayer and fasting, meditation, reading, and gathering with other soldiers in the Lord to pray against and fight the demons using the people that are against me in my life. Whoever they are, wherever they are, I want you to say, I repent of all sins. Lord, wash me in your blood. I know that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God. Forgive me for fighting carnally. Forgive me for fighting flesh against flesh. Thank you for this revelatory word. Thank you for this project parable. Lord, teach me how to warfare. Teach me how to pray against the enemy. Teach me how to pray for the human beings to get saved. I come against the demons using those people in my life. I bind you. I command you to put down that human battering ram and walk away in Jesus' name. Lord, save that person from a dead log being used against me as a battering ram. Make them a living tree with fruit bearing for you. Lord, help me not to get in the flesh and help me not to be a battering ram against somebody else. May I be a person of peace and love in the Holy Ghost. Jesus, help me to walk in the spirit and not after the flesh. And thank you for your amazing parables that you give your children. You are the great teacher, the King of Kings, the Savior, and my God. In Jesus Christ's name, Yeshua the Messiah, I pray. Amen. Wasn't that beautiful? Wasn't that beautiful? I love the Lord so much. We're going to do random videos. Project Parables also to snatched out the fire. We got some documentaries coming by the grace of God. Lord willing. Shout out to all our partners. We really appreciate all your prayers and support. We're getting closer and closer to the end, y'all. We need to stick together and get it moving. We love y'all so much. If you're new to the channel, 
We are a ministry that uses YouTube. Alright, we're not a YouTube ministry. You can go to revelationsofjesuschrist.com, become a partner, get in the fight. Nobody should be on the sideline anymore. We love y'all so much. All glory to Christ. Beautiful day. Now about to go hang with the squad and play. Love y'all. Bless.